All throughout the course of the pandemic, I have continued to showcase the hysteria over masks by, let's face it, people who are Republicans. And um, it's not getting any better. Like, we're nearing the end of the pandemic, at least in the United States, as vaccin vaccinations tick up. But the hysteria over masks is somehow getting dumber as we ease more restrictions. So just Last week, the CDC issued a new guidance, which says people who are not vaccinated, they're the only ones who have to wear masks. So if you get vaccinated, you no longer have to wear a mask indoors. But they're still like ratcheting up the anti-mask rhetoric and the hysteria is getting more bizarre, more hyperbolic and just downright idiotic. So uh, the Blaze TV hosted a conversation between Glenn Beck and Dave Rubin, otherwise known as Rave Dubin. And... Um, I don't even know how to introduce this segment, but basically, Glenn Beck compared anti-maskers to Jewish Germans during the Holocaust. And Dave Rubin then used his Jewish identity to validate what Glenn Beck said, saying, yes, you are correct. This is very much equivalent to the way that Jewish Germans were treated during the Holocaust. I wish I were kidding about this. But this is literally the conversation that they had. Take a look. The absence of a mask on somebody has become almost like a yellow star. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people on the liberal side see the mask as a sign that you're part of the party. And when, you, when you're not wearing a mask, you're a problem. And they've been shaming us. They've been side-eyeing us. Uh, speaking out, calling us names. How do they remove that mask? Because it has become part of the identity of the party. Well, Glenn, that goes directly to the danger that they've been doing for years now, which was calling us all racists and bigots and Nazis. And I know that you personally, you, Glenn, you've gotten into hot water from the, the lefty media at times for making the Nazi analogy. And, and I completely agree with you on this. They are when you make the Nazi analogy, I mean, the irony is these are the people who call all of us Nazis, but the Nazis didn't just show up one day. It didn't yeah, just show you. up one day. Oh, it is a, yes, it is a process of othering people, saying the worst mm -hmm. things about people. And now it's not just that our political views are odious and should be silenced and kicked off big tech and everything else. It's that we are literally killing people by not wearing masks, by not bowing to these people. Mm -hmm. And and who is who's actually the ones that are instigating the hate? It's it's that Honestly, their stupidity never ceases to amaze me. So there's a couple of things that I want to respond to in particular. Can't respond to every single point that they made because we'd be here all day if that were the case. But uh, Glenn Beck says, so many people on the liberal side see the mask as a sign that you're part of a party. Ask yourself why that's the case. Why is that the case, Glenn Beck? Which party politicized masks? Which, uh, which party made it so that way wearing a mask was a political statement? Is it the party that claimed that mask requirements are uh, hurting our liberty, they're infringing on our rights as American citizens. You're the ones who turned this into a political issue and you're mad now that it's a political issue? Well, stop making everything a partisan issue, numb nuts. He also said, and when you're not wearing a mask, you're part of a problem. And they've been shaming us, side-eyeing us, speaking out, calling us names, because you're literally being childish for refusing to wear a mask in the middle of a pandemic you're being an imbecile you're being unreasonable and i don't believe that every time you go out in public without your mask you're getting all of these snarls and side eyes from liberals everybody just goes on about their business nobody cares what you're doing like when i'm in a store and i see someone without a mask i think that that person is stupid and probably a republican but i don't ever confront them i don't snarl at them i just keep my distance that's it but they love being the victims here. They love it. Now, Dave Rubin, after Glenn Beck compared anti-maskers to the star, uh, he stepped in, of course, to legitimize that idiotic point. He said, uh, look, you've gotten into hot water from the lefty media at times for making the lazy analogy and uh, or the Nazi analogy. Maybe that autocorrected in my notes, but the, the Nazi analogy. And I completely agree with you on this. 
He then adds, the Nazis didn't just show up one day. It is a process of othering people. It's ironic that you say that because that's literally what Republicans do all the time. Just ask any trans person. But ask yourself this, Dave Rubin. Do you honestly think it's the case that mask mandates are quite literally going to put us on the trajectory of an anti-conservative Holocaust? Is that genuinely what you believe, Dave Rubin? Please, like, is this actually the route that you think this is going on? It couldn't possibly be that we're dealing with a pandemic that's so bad it only comes around once every 100 years. It couldn't possibly be that masks are literally just there because it's a pandemic. No, no, no. It's because this is basically like the beginning of the next Holocaust. I mean, there's there's no there's no sugarcoating it. Dave Rubin, you were a f***ing moron. And Glenn Beck is too. Jesus f***ing Christ. I just, you people are so stupid and so unreasonable. It's a piece of cloth. Is it really that big of a deal? Like, I am someone who has glasses. So whenever I wear my mask, I breathe and my glasses fog up. That's a little bit of an inconvenience, but it's still not that big of a deal. It's a pandemic, so it's understandable that this minor inconvenience is something that I have to do throughout the duration of the pandemic, although I've been vaccinated. So not necessarily for much longer. Uh, it's just, they're so unreasonable. And the only response that's appropriate for these imbeciles is this. <laughs> you are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Now, speaking of Marjorie Joker Green, she is a lawmaker who decided to lead a rebellion in the House with other Republican Party politicians against House rules regarding masks. I'm not joking. Politico's Melanie Zanona explains a group of House Republicans revolted over their chamber's mask rules on Tuesday, the latest sign of tensions boiling over as Congress wrestles with how and when to return to pre-pandemic routines. Around a dozen Republicans refused to wear masks during the evening vote series and strategically stood at the well of the chamber, which appears on the C-SPAN cameras and seemed to encourage other members to join in. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene snapped a selfie with a few other maskless members and posted it to social media. Taking pictures on the House floor is against long-standing rules due to security concerns. At one point, Representative Robin came over and confronted the rebellious crew and asked them to be more respectful of other members and staff. Representative Thomas Massey, who was standing nearby, could also be heard shouting to another member in jest, I can't hear you with your mask on. Massey was one of the lawmakers who helped organize the protest, sources said. Earlier in the day, Representative Brian Mast of Florida stood up during a GOP conference meeting and told his colleagues that he's done wearing masks and will refuse to wear them on the house floor going forward even if it means being fined according to multiple sources in the room and i've got to say that that is definitely not a melodramatic snowflakey thing to do it's the sigma thing to do actually to have a public meltdown as a lawmaker because you don't want to wear a piece of cloth over your face during a pandemic i just i don't even know what to say you can probably hear it in my voice I'm exhausted. Reporting on Republican stupidity so frequently sucks the life out of me. Like, I feel like my soul has been drained from my body because it's like the movie Idiocracy, that wasn't supposed to be a documentary, but Idiocracy, like, I could point to examples in there where I, where I would actually think, you know what? They're probably smarter than some Republican Party pundits and lawmakers. <laughs> honestly, it's that bad. If you take them seriously, honestly... And I mean this with all disrespect, that says a lot about your intellect. If you think that these people are serious people, you're stupid. Ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 